problem with us church folks is that we don't start seeking truth until we get in trouble. Well. <laughs> and so when trouble comes along, then we start seeking truth. Yeah. What do you mean, preacher? Well, as soon as things start going bad with the bills and the doctor and the health, that's when we want to come to church. Well. As soon as things start going bad with this issue and that issue and family drama and them, them folk on the job that get on our nerves and the, and the jokers that are conniving to try to get us fired and this foolish is going on with cousins and uncles, then we want to come to church. You ain't got to tell me nothing. When the baby mama called about the money, then we want to come then we want to come to church because we don't seek truth until we get into trouble. Now the key problem with that is that while man's days are few and they are full of trouble, when we do seek truth in the midst of trouble, God will give you the truth that you needed in the trouble, and then you'll come a, a, there'll come a time where you'll gain a triumph, but now you're in more trouble because you know the truth. Amen. 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 You know better. Now you know better. <laughs> Now you've gotten to a place where God has brought you to a new level, and many of us don't want to abide on that level. Well, Amen. We're fearful many times, how can we maintain this particular level that we've been on? Mm-hmm. Oh, I know to do better, but to do the other stuff that I know not to do feels so much better. <laughs> Now that I know better, uh, I, I know what I should do, but that don't mean it's easy to get over the other stuff. I came to here this morning to tell you not to spoil your appetite. Well. I'm going to use that as a metaphor because David says that as the deer pants for the water, so my soul longeth after thee. In other words, the trouble has brought me to the place that I am so empty, full of myself. I need to be full of you. Well, I need to be full of the truth. I need to be full of the word. I need to be full of God. Now, how many know that you can't get full on God when you're already full on the world? Well, <laughs> when you're already full on all of this other stuff, when we've already got stuff that we appreciate and we like and we like to continue doing, no matter how simple it is, it feels good. Well. So we'll stay with that. We'll work with that. We'll fill ourselves on that. We will watch a three-hour Super Bowl before we'll pray for 30 minutes. Well, amen. Amen. Y'all don't want to deal with me this morning, but we, we will quickly find ourselves. Fasting, what fasting? You don't even think about the muffins till somebody say fasting. All of a sudden, them blueberry muffins look good. You don't even eat blueberry muffins. <laughs> and the spirit are consistently working against one another. Amen. David says, I have emptied myself of all worldly desire. I am thirsty after God. Well, Amen. we as Christians must measure ourselves to wonder how long, how long, how long will we allow ourselves uh, to be in a place where we are consistently filling up on the world's diets? before we will come to God. Well, that's what trouble will do. Trouble will eat up all of the worldly stuff that you enjoy. It was good while you was uh, getting it on with Sister South. It was good. Everything was good. You was filling up on the world's diet. But then when when, when she did get pregnant, and then when you had to come back and pay the child support, and now y'all don't even get along, and she just get on your last nerve, and when she got hit by a car, all the stuff. Now the world has come along and it's taken away all that you would need. Amen, amen. That's right. when we get empty enough. Come on, teach it. And we'll come to church. Well, God, what my diet did didn't help me. My diet was. I had a sinful appetite, and it was good while I was eating. But then I got indigestion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I got acid reflux. Then all of this started to cause my heart to be messed up. And just like a a diet of too much sugar, too much fat, too much cholesterol, all of a sudden my spirit starts having health problems. Well, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And 
I got to deal with the consequences of this diet that I have. Mm. But David says, I, I don't want that diet. Mm. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of God than to dwell in the tents of the unknown. One day in his courts is better than a thousand in the tents of the wicked. David understood, I need to be hungry, but for the right thing. Well, That's why when we get to church, everything, I know it tastes bland. I know uh, Kool-Aid ain't quite like beer. It ain't the same. I know, but, 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 but we have to understand that we we can understand that we've got to get our diet straight. Amen. Amen. We've got to get our diet straight. David said, I'm hungry for God because he was already empty of the world. Mm. Amen. Amen. Already empty of the world. He said, my tears, in the same chapter, verse 3, he said, my tears I use for me. Well. While everybody else said, where is your God? Mm -hmm. See, he was in trouble. Well. He was in trouble. When you get in trouble, you start crying. Son. You start crying out. Well, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this morning, I only want to tell you that the worldly appetite that you have, mm -hmm. yes, 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 it ain't gonna it ever cause spiritual health problems for you. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. That's it. Well, and just like if I give my son candy or something like that, yeah, that's something he wants. But when it comes time for dinner, mm -hmm. to eat the vegetables, to eat what's healthy. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. He don't want it. And he'll he'll say, I, oh, I, I'll eat it later. No, you won't. You've already, <laughs> you've already ruined your appetite. Well. Amen. Preach it. Don't spoil your appetite. All right. Mm -hmm. It's not worth it. Amen. It feels good right now, but I promise you it's going to be helpful. Amen. 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 I promise you. If you can get your appetite right for God, mm. test how close a, a good Christian you are. How hungry are God for you? Amen. Amen. How hungry for God are you? Yes, yes. If you pe hungry people wake up at six in the morning <laughs> and start praying to Him first. Amen. Amen. Well, hungry people. See, you don't do this stuff till you're hungry. When you're going through trouble, then you be all up. Oh, the midnight hour, Lord. Jesus. Well. Help me, Jesus. Come on, now. Lord, my Lord, 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 Lord
the taste is not the same. When you come out of the world, the kingdom of God is just like that. Everything tastes bland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing's as exciting. It was exciting to go to the club. It's not exciting to go to the church on Friday. It's not exciting to go to the Bible study on Wednesday. It tastes bland yeah. compared to what you used to. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't taste so not as exciting. Going out with the boys to hang out, play Xbox, whatever, and all that's exciting. It's not exciting, you know, when you're first getting the taste of it. But one thing I can promise you, like David said, oh, taste and see Gee. that the Lord is good. good. Yes, yes, yes. Hey. If you can get past the initial taste, Everybody that eats healthy, I have friends that have gotten on it, just they made a decision. No matter how bad it tastes, it was health. It was mm -hmm. about health. It wasn't about taste, it was about health. Amen. That friend of mine had the same decision. He said, I just decided I was going to eat healthy. No matter how it tastes. Well. Because I needed to be healthy. Mm -hmm. And all of them have the same testimony. Now that I drink nothing but water, that's all my body wants. Well. <laughs> now, now that I eat healthy, that's all my body wants. I can't even eat a burger, it's just the grease. Mm. Mm. It tastes good in your life. You know? It takes a minute for our spirit to get used to healthy, yes. spiritual living. Amen. Amen. Especially when the world is so appetizing. Yes. I love Family Guy. It's a cartoon with all sorts of customs in the film. I don't know <laughs> but spiritually, I have to say, is, is how how healthy is that for my spirit? Yes, yes. This morning, that's all I'm going to tell you. Don't spoil your appetite on things of God. Because in the end, the things of God, they might go in better. But mm. it will be sweet to your Amen. 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 Stand to your feet on the Amen. morning we're just going to pray for the grace to accept a new appetite. Well, amen. We're also going to pray for the hunger of God that we need to make it as a church. Well, amen. And I can tell you right now, we got over 700 churches in this city. Well, yes, yes. 45 square miles. We got over 700 churches. That's ridiculous. Mm. Yes, yes. And about 30 churches on this one street. Going down first street. Yes, sir. Yes. The only thing that's going to make us different than anybody else is being hungry for God. Well, amen, amen. we can open up just like anybody else and sing these songs and all that kind of stuff. What difference do it make? Yes. We'll close down in a year if there's a good part of this church. Well, amen. we've got to be hungry for Him to take us beyond ourselves. Yes. Amen. So that when things come on and issues arise, we can all go back to the Word of God. Yes. Amen. 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 Word of, of God. God. Amen. 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 Are y'all with me? Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Father God, we pray right now for your grace this morning. We pray right now for your spirit to bless us. We pray yes. right now for an excitement in our spirit to receive the healthy diet that you have for us. Well, we don't want to spoil our appetite on the things we need because we were so busy on the things we want. Oh, yes. Lord. God, we pray right now that we can understand with a mature mindset that we need to reach further. Yes. We need to reach for you further. Help us to make those little changes in our day to day lives to wake up in the morning dedicated to just saying, I'm going to pray this morning. Whether I feel yes. like it or not, God, I'm going to give you 10 minutes for 10 minutes oh, yes. day. Yes. I'm going to well, open up the scripture. That man, I don't have to study for hours. I just need to open your word and hear yes. from you in the yes. morning. Yes. God, I'll yes. make a dedication to, to start listening to a little bit more gospel music. Yes. I'll make a dedication this morning to begin to call my brother and to see how they're doing. God, I'm just hungry to be around your presence. To be Amen. around your glory. Yes. To be around Amen. you so that I can experience the benefits of your spirit. God, I'm on a spiritual diet of love, joy, and peace. Amen. God, I pray Amen. right now that you would help me. Even through the long suffering, God, that I'm still getting what it is that you have for me. Amen. So Amen. when situations arise, I can deal with it because I've had a steady spiritual diet. Amen. Amen. God, you said in the last days there'd be a famine for the word of God. It wouldn't be easy to find it. 
something that would help us through, something that would give us the substance we need to make it beyond all of the New Age doctrine. God, we pray that you would take us back to that old time religion where we dedicated well, ourselves. Amen. Oh, amen. Amen. Where we dedicated ourselves to the work of the church. Yes. Where we dedicated ourselves to you. Where we dedicated ourselves to teaching our family what was right and our children what was just. Yes. Help us this morning to do what is right. Give a hunger in this place to every soul sitting in this room. Make them hunger for you. Make the taste of the worldly things so disgusting, so nasty. God, let us be hungry for you. Amen. Amen. And when we're hungry for you, God, you said, Blessed are those that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for we shall be filled. We thank you today for this word and for the grace that you're going to give us. And we claim it done now that this church will begin to operate under a great hunger for your presence and your, yes, your power. Lord. And the worship will go to another level because we're all hungry for you. Yes, yes, so we come in pulling on you, calling on your name, ready to go, excited with praise. Yes, so God, that we might enter your throne to hear your word. Yes. We thank you right now today. We give your name the praise and the glory and the honor in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. 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 Yeah, man.